We are not defined by our past. God sets us free. And the book of Revelations, chapter 21, verse 5, says, Behold, I am making all things new. I am so happy that the Lord would not define my past based on labels or based on errors or mistakes or behaviors of our past because I needed to be set free. I think we all need to be set free. And the labels that once defined us are never permanent, not with God. The enemy would love to wield those words over us to keep us stuck in regret or shame. But Christ came to set us free. And because of that, we have hope, especially in the hard days. His word reminds us that his banner over us is love. His label is lasting, daughter and son of God. It doesn't fade away if we blow it again. It doesn't wash off over time if we're inconsistent. It shines. It never stops shining. Just as sure as the sun rises every morning, it breathes new hope and offers a fresh start every single day. And today, our labels are different. Our label today is redeemed, loved, called, restored, cherished, strong, joyful, and hope-filled. And the Lord says to us today, my child, my thoughts are precious towards you. I know everything about you. Be comforted to know that I am always thinking about you. The labels that once were placed upon you by man, those labels mean nothing to me. For you are called my daughter and my son today. And those human labels have been washed away by the rivers of my grace, by the power of my redemption. You are the focus of my thoughts and my attention. It will bring you joy and peace to continuously focus your thoughts and attention on me. Each and every moment, all that concerns you is flowing through my heart. I am constantly drawing you nearer through the good and the bad to build a personal relationship with you one in which you can continuously rely and constantly trust in me. My child, you are never alone, and my plans to help you become all your heavenly Father has created you to be is my constant focus to prosper you and to give you hope. Allow me to do my best work in you, in order that you might reflect my image. Your heavenly Father created you, numbered your days, and never stops thinking about you. They are not thoughts of condemnation and judgment, but thoughts of absolute love and adoration. His thoughts towards you are precious, and they outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore. Don't let your situation at the moment convince you that your Heavenly Father has forgotten about you. He has not forgotten. He sees where you are every moment of every day, every minute. You are not far away from God from your Heavenly Father, 
from my father. Just know that he created you with so much love that you are his masterpiece and that he is so proud of you. He calls you blessed. So when you're feeling alone, like no one cares, know that I do and your father holds you in the palm of his hand. You are safe, you are loved, and you are precious in his sight. Remember to call yourself redeemed, forgiven, loved, cherished, worthy, anointed, spirit-filled, joyful, victorious, prosperous. Remember to call yourself a daughter or a son of the Most High God. Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much that every thought, every thought that you have, my God, involves me, my Father. You're not far away from me. That you are constantly thinking about me and my friend listening to this audio. My God, thoughts of a good life, thoughts of good hope, thoughts of love and, and mercies and compassions, thoughts of favor. For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, plans to give you a future and a good ending. It is a future with a good ending, my Father, that you have in your mind for us. And you are good, and we call you good every single day, and we say thank you, Lord God. We praise you, and we give you our focus and attention, my God, so that we can be in tune, we can be aligned, we can be, my Father, completely intertwined with you at all times, O oh God, so that we can listen to that still small voice calling us blessed, calling us redeemed. Thank you for blessing my friend, listening to this audio, my God. Thank you for blessing every area of their life, but most of all, bless them with peace. Bless them with the assurance, my Father, that you are close to them as a brother, Jesus. Father God, thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. In your Son's name we pray. Amen. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, also like and share. If you know of anyone that needs to hear a message like this, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're anxious or fearful, maybe they're struggling with a situation in their lives, send them a gift today, the gift of hope, the gift of encouragement. Thank you for listening to my messages. Have a blessed day.